All right, so today we have the Rubix and Casio G-Shock collaboration watch. So let's go ahead and take it out. All right, so here is the watch. Got a cover on it. And it has the white bezel on it. It can be swapped out with a black bezel. So we'll just get some close-ups. And then the watch band has Rubik's here on the side, as well as a orange clasp with a green band. And then I can maybe show you what's here on the inside here. I haven't quite looked at it yet, but... So let's see, it says Rubik's G-Shock, and then there's a small number down here, probably just a serial number. The product, it's a GAE 2100 RC. I assume RC is for Rubik's Cube. And what else? Water resistant to 120 bars, stainless steel back. But no, really cool. And then we have the typical adjust the light a start in a mode and we'll figure those all out in a minute here with the manual and comes with this see if i can't get it out of here with a black bezel which has the same things on it all right let's see what some of this stuff is Oh, there is a little tool in here to remove the bezel. So here's some instructions. And then there's this little, little screwdriver type tool. It looks like a flathead pretty much. So kind of cool. Looks almost like a stylus. But okay. We'll take that off in a minute here. What else do we got? Oh card here so just a warranty card anything on the back data purchase where i got it from not sure if any of that might be uh linked to me so i'll go ahead and not show you that but it's just a warranty card so if anything were to happen i could call them up and get that all squared away and then the user's guide Probably just talks about how to use the the modes and some of the settings and stuff. Some maintenance and then other languages. So let me take a look through this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so going over the user's manual, this is a little more complicated than I'm used to with uh, typical analog watches where you just have the pin on the side. You could change the dial, pull it all the way out. You can then change the day. This has a lot of double pressing buttons, so I think I'll leave that for a second video. And I'll just take the bezel off and show you guys how that's done. There's a little notch right here. You can kind of see it right there. And then we'll go ahead and make it so I won't stab myself here. Just kind of put that in. Pull it down, I think. Oh, I had to get up and over those deals here. And then you could just peel the whole thing away. And there we go. There's the two side by side. And then we'll go ahead and get, let's see, what does this say? Just shock resistant. Is there anything on the other side? Nope. All right, so all we have to do is hook this around those two pins and then pull this over and down. And easy as that. We now have it switched to black. So I'm more used to analog clocks that have the pin over here to where you pull it halfway out, you can adjust the day, 
pull it all the way out, you can adjust the time. This one, when I was reading through the user manual really quick, it seems like you'll have to do some double button pushing and then depending on which button you push, we'll move it different directions. If you double tap uh, one of these, it will go to a different menu setting in which you can then adjust things from there. So I'm gonna have to read through the user manual to figure out exactly what does what. And I think I'll do another video on that. I think that'd be really cool. And I actually really like the white bezel. So I'm gonna put that back on really quick. So I think I'm gonna leave the video at that. If you have any questions about this watch, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try and answer it when I do a follow-up video on how to do the adjustments and the stopwatch and different modes and such like that. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and just a general overview of this watch and I'll see you on the next one.